What up guys, it's BRBT iPhone, and you know how I just not do just random iPhone reviews and stuff now, but I got a little bit older, I haven't made videos in months now, it's been a while because I sort of got bored and to tell you the truth and sort of moved on my life and I don't know. Well, I've been playing Ghost Recon and stuff like that anyways, just, you probably don't care, but I'm going to make a review over my Nike Free Runs 5.0s. You see I'm having a nice little stance right here. So um if you see the 5.0 right there on the bottom, and I think maybe three or actually less than that, maybe two or three months ago, these shoes came out and two other new shoes out. The new the the free run threes that are like just made for running and that is little like metallic stuff back here, so like your ankle or your heel, I meant, goes through like it. I don't know, but there's lots of complaints. Then there's ones like these, except they're cheaper, and they don't have, like, this type of outer mesh. Like, the the long... Oh, I can't think of the name right now, but the, whatever. Those other shoes that came out. But I'll make a review, and people have been asking me if these shoes are worth the price. And first thing is, they're not too expensive for a normal Nike shoe. Because I went through a pair of free run, I have two pairs of free run twos, and I went through the first free run ones. None of them ripped, none of them had anything on me. And the good news is, if you see the mesh right here, right here, um, they made a new mesh so like your 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 toes and stuff won't tear through this. But your problem, I don't get it. Even though that's a good, that's a um a pro. My other shoes didn't even rip in here, so I'm assuming it's extra strong, so that's why I want to pick up a pair of these, because I already, I've already i played basketball a million times. I've run in my old Fear and Twos. I still use them because, I don't know, I just don't want to get them dirty right now, because I just have my other shoes to play basketball in and run around and do stuff like that, but... If you, if you like, if you hate shoes that just rip and stuff, like lots of zigs and stuff do, this isn't going to do it, because if you see it here... This has a nice, um, I don't know if it's leather or whatever it is, but the material is up high, and your foot is going to be on this, your toe most of it, so it's not going to be touching this material anyways right here. And right here, you see it's really flexible, sort of. Um, you see how it going up, and how these are different from the free run twos, if you see the free um, run right here, this part, you see on the side, it's smaller, and it just has a better design. It has all these little lines on it, and... The other one used to be a lot thicker and didn't have these. It was just plain smooth and rubbery. The bottom looks about the same except this part. They came up with a new flexible design. And there goes your Nike run thing where you can connect to your app. Um, yeah, see, the same grip I think it has on the Fruin 2s. That's the only bad thing I don't like about these Fruins. They're really slippery even like with this type of grip, but... It doesn't really mind, it's not like it wears them to the point where they just slide off like so easily, but like that's the only bad thing I have about these shoes. They're still really good shoes in my opinion. Right here you get, I got these type of colors. I got the green in the middle right here and um, you get the green in the inside if you can see Nike Free. And wait up, if you see, you probably can't see, it's really dark but you see like the stitching and stuff there you know like the nike free one thing that can connect to that part right there and the main reason that i think these are the most expensive ones even though they retail for a hundred price or might be a hundred ten i don't know i got them on a discount i think for a hundred or something you got this like fly wire design sort of it's like that and it comes up to this part right here and it like fits really wrapping around your foot so if you have a narrow foot you're going to enjoy these shoes and love it. Even if you have a wide foot, you're still going to enjoy them because it's the most comfortable shoe, way more comfortable than the Fear and Twos, but they are a little bit heavier too. But they're still light as crap, and you can still bend them all the way if you can see like that. I just got the white laces. Might pick up a pink pair just to make them shine a little bit. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the Fear Run 5.0. So thank you for watching. Peace.